Good evening everyone, I'm Luke Notstein. The Western Carolina men's basketball team on the road tonight at Georgia Southern trying to snap a four game losing streak. Let's go to the first half. Brandon Boggs showing off some serious elevation. Two of his team high, 18 points. Then Tom Tankowitz tipping in his own rebound for two of his nine points. Tawaski King showing that he can go airborne as well. The two-handed stuff as the Catamounts play very well tonight. Later, it's King in the lane with a baby hook shot as Western Carolina gets a big victory on the road, beating Georgia Southern 71-62. McDowell's varsity boys basketball team has proven to be one of the top teams in all of Western North Carolina. This evening, the Titans travel to Irwin. The Warriors fired up for a big test on their home court against McDowell tonight. Late in the fourth quarter, Josh Engel with some serious arc on the three and it drops through, but Irwin trails 72-68. A couple of plays later, Malik Moore with a tough shot in traffic off the glass. Warriors down 73-70, but Talante Rodriguez was money from the free throw line. He scores 27 as McDowell beats Irwin 78-74. Just being together, chemistry. We all are always with each other all the time, and we build that chemistry with each other. And man, we take a bullet for each other. Working hard with each other. I'm a senior this year, and I don't get these years back. McDowell improves to 9 and 2 in the Mountain Athletic Conference. Meanwhile, the Miami Hurricanes are making their case to be one of the top teams in the entire country. This afternoon, the Tar Heels try to become the first team in the ACC to beat the Hurricanes this season. Miami dominates the North Carolina Tar Heels. Your final score from this one, 87-61. The star of the game was Larkin, who has led the Hurricanes to a perfect mark in the ACC. And afterwards, he talked about the positive impact that his head coach, Jim Laranega, has on the team. Meanwhile, Mars Hill looking for its first conference win of the season, taking on Brevard. First half, Miles Tate picks up the steal and then goes right to the rim, gets fouled, and finishes the play with some nice English off the glass. The Lions jump out to an 11-point lead, but it would not last. A little bit later, Manzi Miller to Dominique Pickett for the layup down low. Nice pass, the fancy up and under there. And Mars Hill ends up losing this game. Brevard gets the win 76-73. The annual Pink Zone game at Kimmel Arena for the Bulldogs game against Coastal Carolina. Let's go to the first half today. Paige Love driving in the lane and scoring as the Bulldogs lead 25-21 at halftime. Brenda Mockert Patrick keeping her team focused, drawing up some plays during a timeout. But with 20 seconds to play, Shatia Cole buries the dagger for Coastal and they beat UNC Asheville 50-46.